Number three, the disliking slash hating tendency. Humans have had a history of violence. This is known and this is nothing new. Humans are violent. Now, if you look back at the old days, at the American Indians, what they used to do is they used to grab captives and take them back to the village, to the family, to the children and wives so that they can join in on the torture as well, join in on the fun, the good times. Now, in this day and age, we might look at this and think, wow, people used to be barbarics. They used to be repulsive. But this is not too far from what's happening these days. The only difference between this modern age and back in the day a few hundred years ago is the way that violence takes place. It's, it's not as overt. It's more covert. It's not publicized. It's not someone coming up to your house and hitting you in the head with a barbed wire bat or something like that. Violence these days is taking place through politics and through drone strikes. The most uh, over display of violence is something like perhaps, you know, 9-11 or major wars that take place. So it's very evident that violence is still, you know, hugely part of humanity's condition now the tendency is similar to tendency two, the liking slash loving tendency as in it warps people's views when someone hates someone they tend to ignore the virtues of the disliked they tend to dislike people or products barely of association based off association with what they hate and they also tend to distort other facts that facilitate hatred towards the hated they make the situation bigger than it is they make it seem like the person's a bigger dick than what they actually are think of um, perhaps the Israelis and Palestinians the ongoing warfare has been going on between those two these are two people that have different histories and their situation is not going to change anytime soon based off this tendency the palestinians automatically assume that israelites are the bad guys that they're the assholes they're the the ones that are doing everything wrong and israelites automatically assume the palestinians are the bad guy so both sides have good people and both sides have uh, bad people but the, the views have been distorted based off this tendency people tend to form groups of unity and the hate just grows larger and larger think of any religion it's basically a group of people united in a common belief or common cause and a lot of these religions that have extremists the extremists come from this tendency they the adhering to the religion fails to look at the situation objectively and see the virtues of other members of religion they're blinded by this tendency and hence cannot see the similarities between them so they end up having huge wars over the most mundane things like different names for their gods <laughs> anyway that's just the dislike and hating tendency i hope you got something out of this do not let your hatred warp your view of the world be objective in your views understand that we perceive things the way we want to perceive them we can influence what we see based off the judgments we've already made so come into it with an objective mind and you'll be better off all right guys if you haven't already make sure you check out the new personal development global group on facebook link is in the description heaps of good shit for you this is pretty much the go-to place for all your personal development articles um free content for everybody and just a whole community that we're building up there's no spam here 
also you can check out the link to my website the realized man right at this website and you can suss that out if you have something to post make sure you check it out and come on anyway have fun guys peace